Hello, welcome to episode 20 of Miami Real Estate.tv. I'm your host, Lucas Lechuga, and today I'm at the new sales gallery of Casa Bella Residences. I say new sales gallery because the original sales gallery was recently demolished to make way for vertical construction. Today, in a bit, I'm gonna meet up with VP of Sales, Jenny Hanley, who's gonna give us all the details, and more importantly, give us the lowdown on the recently released penthouse collection. So let's go check it out. So Miami has fared tremendously well. It's one of the few cities in America that have actually appreciated in price while a lot of other cities have gone down. And that's because of the demand we've seen. There's a lot of people relocating to Miami. 135 companies moving to Miami. Wow, that's, that's incredible. And it's just gonna keep coming. I mean, there's a lot of companies that are in the process of doing build outs here and waiting for these super tall office buildings, class A office buildings, especially in Brickell to, to be completed. So it's exciting times that we're gonna get a lot of people relocating here that are high income earners and yes. that should spur uh, growth as well. They're pretty much relocating between Brickell and downtown, and that's why the growth that we're having in those two sectors mm -hmm. even more. And how about the composition of the floor plans? What kind of type of units do you have? So I have units from 711 square feet to 5,900 square feet on my penthouses. So I have a very big range from mm -hmm. one bedrooms. I have one bedrooms plus a den. I have different floor plans of two bedrooms, ranges from 1,300 square feet to 1,800 square feet. I have the three bedrooms, they are ranging for 1,900 to 2,700 square feet. Mm -hmm. And I have my four bedrooms, they are between 2,700 to about 5,000 square feet on, on my bigger ones in the penthouses. So I have a, a little bit of everything. And those were recently released, the penthouse collection that is. Yes. So how many penthouses are there? There are 10 penthouses, mm -hmm. a very nice collection. I have my true penthouses that is um, two, store, two stories. There are my upper penthouses. Mm -hmm. Four of those, very beautiful, starting from 8 million to 13 million. How many square feet? We're talking about between 4,800 to 5,900. Okay. We have two of them, they're crown jewels, they're mm -hmm. triplex. So you have three levels. The rooftop pool with a summer kitchen, and they have amazing views. They're the two corners. And how high are the ceilings of these penthouses? I have on my regular penthouses, 11 foot ceilings to 13 foot ceilings, and on my uh, big penthouses, 23 feet. 23 feet, wow. Yeah. That's that's soaring, that's, that's huge. That's gonna be yes. very awe-inspiring when you walk into that type of residence. Yes, and they have this beautiful wraparounds because the mm. corner ones, which are the ones that are triplex, have this amazing wraparound terraces. They're overlooking the water. They're looking at downtown Brickell. You can see mm -hmm. very far from there because of the height. All of my units have 10 foot ceilings. So you're already, the elevation of the building is a little bit higher than 57 stories. So you're referring to the standard residences have 10 foot yes, ceilings? Yes, the 10 foot okay. ceilings on the regular ones. That's fantastic. And then, so above those penthouses, my understanding is the big, big penthouses are in the corners and then the smaller penthouses are in the middle. Yes. Those two do not have the rooftop no, those pool don't. because the rooftop pool of the building is it's above those. Top. Yes. And if you look at the renderings of those and the view that you have from there, Amazing. it's incredible. It's incredible because you have completely water open views. Mm -hmm. Those views are forever views. Yep. You can see from far. You also have the other two, two 53 floor, 54 floor that are my other penthouses. There are mm -hmm. only three per floor in there and there are four bedrooms and they start at 4.7 million. And how about the balconies on these? Um, like, let's start with the non-penthouses. How deep are those balconies? Between seven to eight feet. Okay, and the, and the penthouses? And are... the penthouses will probably be a little bit more extensive. So now that we've kind of talked about the composition, how about the finishes of, of the actual residences? The finishes of the residence, the units come completely finished with kitchens and bathrooms designed by Piero Lisoni, which mm -hmm. is amazing. And then you have all the appliances, sub-zero with wet induction kitchens, with the wine coolers. Mm -hmm. We do the flooring, so they have three different choices of flooring all throughout the units to the terrace. So whatever floor you picked, you will also be on the terrace. 
We have um, two elevators, private elevators that come up straight to the unit, well, that's opens up to a mm -hmm. foyer and then to your unit. So that's good privacy. For sure. And you have, it's all biometric, so it's going to be very good uh, privacy. On the penthouses, we have different finishes. We will have Fama Italia cabinets, which are a little bit more detailed. Mm -hmm. And then we will have different selection of stones for the flooring as well. We have standalone tops. Some of the tops will have amazing water views because they're going to have an open view. Mm -hmm. We will have um, all the lighting. What's also very nice is we will have packages of furniture for nice. my regular units mm -hmm. and for my penthouses. We will have BNB Italia doing a couple packages for the building. So that will be offered to contract holders some, at some point at between some point. now and, and completion? Yes. And so the non penthouse units, do buyers have choices of countertops, cabinetry, anything like that? Yes, we're going to have. Stone floors? On the, on the cabinets, there are set cabinets. On mm -hmm. the countertops, we do. We have two selections mm -hmm. of countertops. The countertops are porcelain, which is the newest thing that they have. It came from Italy and it's a compact porcelain, so it doesn't stain, it's durable. So that's mm -hmm. the newest thing that they're doing at homes. On the penthouses, they are going to have selections of cabinets and also selections okay. of countertops. So we do have selection. One thing I wanted to mention um, that I've said in past episodes as well is that it's very important that the flooring is completed because yes. it really cuts down on the time that people need to, to move in, you know, because obviously now the contractors don't have to do that post-closing. And not only that, but you don't have contractors coming in and out of the building once you're living there and taking up the service elevators and just you know making noise drilling and stuff like that. So it really makes it a seamless transition for people to move into a, to a building that's, that has the flooring. That is done, ready. We actually ready to go. going to have even choices to do your closets with mm -hmm. us. We will have choices to do your sound system, your lighting, your electronic lines, wow. just everything you need. So mm -hmm. when you come and live in Casabella, it's completely turnkey. So is there anything that a buyer would need to do post-closing to complete a unit? What, what's not included in, in the price? Like, do, will they have to do window shades? Those no, we, really... we will have packages for everything. For, everything. for your window okay. shades, for your sound system, for mm -hmm. lighting, everything you might think of. Even your furniture with BNB Italia. Excellent. And this is a related group project. And what related group is always known for is delivering some of the best amenities. So tell me about the building's amenities and services. So we will have three floors complete of amenities. Mm -hmm. On the ground floor, we are bringing a restaurant. So we're still talking to a couple of restaurants. Then on the 10 and 11 floors, we were going to have a little bit of everything. We have um, movie theaters. We have a dog spa, a business center. We will have also three rooms different for kids. Uh, one at, you know, the biller room for the bigger kids. Mm -hmm. The teenager room, a little kid's room. We also have a wine room for entertainment. A library that you can enjoy. The library will have these beautiful stairs that are designed by Piero Lisoni to connect mm -hmm. to the 11th floor. So in the 11th floor, we have a, the corner, south east corner, where we have the gym, the yoga, spinning room, beauty salon. We also have the spa, beautiful spa with sauna, steam room. And we have one of our best amenities, which will be the corner looking to the north. We'll have the bar and restaurant that will be only serving to our residents. Wow, nice. They will have an indoor and outdoor. On the 11th floor, we'll have a pool, mm -hmm. which will be very nice. Now outside on the pool, we'll have service. So you have a towel service, you have also the bar serving outside. We will have a, a um, pickable court, which is now in style, mm -hmm. yep. a barbecue area as well, another yoga lawn, and a jacuzzi. And on the rooftop, we have an amazing pool, which will be overlooking to the water and Biscayne. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the one I was referring to, like the, the view, that, the that rendering amazing. is to die for. That's to die for, yes. Yeah. So for the audience out there, if there's anyone interested in purchasing a uh, a unit at Casa Bella Residences. What's the process? Right now, we are under contract. Mm -hmm. We are getting also ready to do our ground break. Mm -hmm. So if they want to come and purchase with 20% down, we have at contract. 
Mm -hmm. Then 10% when we start our construction, which pretty much is uh, soon, so 30% this year. 10% mm -hmm. when we get to the rooftop, 56th floor, which is estimated to be end of 2024, and then 60% at delivery. Yeah, I was driving by the site yesterday, I believe it was, mm -hmm. and you guys are finalizing demolition work, so yes. the site's being cleared off, so this project is, is moving full speed ahead, so that's great. We're very excited. We're getting ready to do ground break in June. So nice. definitely right we will buy you. Fantastic. And so what percentage are you sold? Are you, do you have a lot of inventory or do you have a, a good amount of inventory or availability for, yes. for buyers that come in now? We have about 68% sold mm -hmm. right now, hard contract with monies. We still have a great percentage of units left with great pricing and my penthouse collection that we just released. Fantastic. So I think you wrapped it all up, but like just in summary, I'd like to close it out with a question. So like we've obviously sure. kind of touched upon that there are a lot of options to buyers these days that, you know, there's a variety of developers launching projects. So what separates Casa Bella from the rest and what makes it unique? For me, there's three points. Mm -hmm. One is the location. The location is really what's going to be selling Casa Bella, especially for everything that is coming over here. Mm -hmm. So value wise is the best choice. Two, we still have amazing views because you have views to the waters, the way that we designed the building, we mm. protected the views. And three, the aesthetics and who's behind it. It's a very strong developer, very strong brand from the architect to the designer, our world renowned uh, team. Well, thank you very much for You're being welcome. on the show. It was great to ha thank great having you. So you. Much. Thank you for inviting me. No, thank you and come back and see us. Will do. Thank you. Well, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. As you've learned, Casa Bella Residences is one of the hottest developments in Miami. Construction is about to be underway. Groundbreaking is in a few months. If you're interested in learning more about pricing and availability, contact me, Lucas Lechuga, at lucas at miamicanoinvestments.com, or you can reach me on my cell phone at 786-247-6332. Before I sign out, I just want to thank everyone for taking the time to watch. But I'd really appreciate it if you could take the time to leave some comments and feedback. I read through every one of them. So thank you again.